putting your photo in Skype for Business. If you haven't already done so, adding your photo to Skype for Business and to all of your Office 365 applications will increase and improve the user experience for everyone. If you can see here, it's really nice to actually have everyone's photo here. It's actually very helpful for new employees that join the company as well to feel a little bit more integrated if they can associate a name with a face. So one of the ways you can upload your photo and to Office 365 and to Skype for Business is you can start your Skype for Business, click on, it will be an icon here if you don't have a photo, or it will be your actual photo. And you can click on the My Picture tab. You can see each of these different tabs does something different, but My Picture, you can either hide your picture or show your picture. If you click on show your picture and you hit edit or remove picture, this will actually open up an Office 365 control panel through your web browser. So you can either click here, it will go directly to that page, or let me show you how to get to there directly if you want to do it through the web browser. I'm going to log in to my portal at Office 365 by typing in portal.office.com. It's going to ask me to log in. And once you are logged in, it should look something like this. Now, you can access all of your Office 365 applications over here, but if you notice, if you slide your mouse all the way to the right, you'll notice that your picture or your icon is up here. If you click it once, this is where you actually change your photo. You can click on Change, and it will now bring up a library where you can actually find your photos or browse to the appropriate document. You would click on Browse and navigate to the appropriate folder where you've stored the picture that you'd like. I would suggest using a square crop photo with a headshot like this where the center of the photo is going to be the focus area. And you notice when we're on Skype for Business, it sort of makes a circle around your photo. So if you can keep it there, um, that'll be sort of the best picture to use. And once you're done, hit Save. And that will be your new photo, and that will propagate through all your Office 365 applications.